Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. As you learn how to start editing a mesh, let's explore the other option which is called individual meshes. For this reason I will just select this mesh and go to edit. If we notice here, it says that there are 20 individual meshes. We will enter in this mode. What we see is the control panel of the multi-meshes dialog. So first of all, let me tell you what means uh, individual mesh. The mesh contains a lot of triangles that they are connected to each other and they form a single surface or a solid. A solid means there are no holes at all, everything else is a surface. But there might be different surfaces because these triangles may not be connected to each other. In this case it tells us that there are 20 such individual meshes. There are two buttons which will help us to navigate through all the individual meshes and if I click it automatically will track and determine this individual mesh. So even if you didn't see this on the screen, software detects them and as you can see there are a couple of them. As you can see the software draws them in a different color so you can easily determine them. If you click on the screen you hide this quick dialog and you can just click on an individual mesh that will show you the quick dialog. There are two buttons left and right that will track the next if you want to keep this one or you can just delete this. In such a way I deleted my individual mesh. In such a way I can just click and delete every individual mesh. The, for the ease of use you can just track and see the individual meshes. There are a couple of options here that you can use to run everything at once. So what can we say about these small pieces of uh, triangles that are floating in space? They have a surface area and there is a batch command that you can apply to the whole mesh to remove all of the individual meshes that have a surface area less than the given one. If I click on an individual mesh, it automatically updates and tells us the surface area of this individual mesh. In this case, for example, I can just click, select this one, and if I press remove, it will remove all the surfaces that are with area less than the given one. For example, here I can say remove all the small individual meshes that are with surface area less than 0.1 square millimeters. You can always undo. In some cases, if you have a big object, it's really hard to say how big this surface is. So for this reason, we have a tool which is called Measure. You hold your left mouse down and you draw and then you lift your mouse up. So this literally measures, draws a circle that measures the size. And it's really helpful to define a good number that will help you to remove all the small meshes. I will press remove and as you can see it deleted most of them, small pieces and we can see that we left with only three of them. We can track now, press next and I can see inside somewhere here there is a floating mesh and I can just click and delete them if I want. I will just undo the deletion and as you can see now we have 12 individual meshes. I want to show you one quick hint that in many cases will help you. You can just click on the largest mesh and there is an option which is called leave the selected only or you click on this button which is just the same. So if I have something selected I can just press this button and it will get rid of everything else and will leave only this individual mesh. So in this moment I have only one mesh which is good enough and I can go back and continue my repairing of the mesh to create a good a watertight surface. We'll continue with the holes in the next tutorial. For now, thank you for watching.